Want to shop Walmart Black Friday deals first? Walmart Plus members get early access to our hottest deals. Join now and get 50% off a one-year annual membership. Shop Black Friday deals first with Walmart Plus. See terms at walmartplus.com. Okay, I have to tell you. I was just looking on eBay where I go for all kinds of things I love, and there it was. That hologram trading card. One of the rarest. The last one I needed for my set. Shiny like the... Designer handbag of my dreams. One of a kind. eBay had it. And now everyone's asking, ooh, where'd you get your... Windshield wipers. eBay has all the parts that fit my car. No more annoying. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful. Whatever you love, find it on eBay. eBay. Things people love. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. Then today's episode. So... I was sitting down thinking of this idea for WWE where I'm like, fam, I personally would believe that this game would hit. Because the thing is this, when you see the same game every year, nothing's different. Oh, they might add a new wrestler or they might add a new wrestling move. They might have like a small little area that you can uh, get involved in. It's like, fam, okay, I guess that's cool. But here's the thing. Wouldn't it be dope? All right, now hear me out. And I think that's what I'm going to start titling this series when I come up with a video game idea because I'm like, fam, I, I personally believe some of the video game ideas that I have, I just know for a fact that they would sell. All right, but hear me out on this. Imagine an open world WWE game. So if you guys played the video game Street Fighter VI, pretty much like that in a way but not exactly you know so and there was this one game what's the name of that game again it was like wrestling empire i think it's so something well not exactly not even like that no just like a flat out um like open world wrestling game where it's like something along the lines like grand theft auto where there's like you know there's like multiple different activities that you can do like you can go and I'm saying like I in if they want to have it where it's still like that traditional thing but they should at least have it where it's like you can drive to the stadium or you can travel uh you know um like by plane but they they have it where it's like everywhere it's just a flat out like just wrestling world where it's like you know you might be at the airport you're walking through the terminal and then all of a sudden but and it's like they should have it where it's like you know and I guess how they would go about that because it's like okay i i imagine they probably ain't gonna have it where it's like oh people are gonna like it's exactly like an airport where it's like oh you gotta go through uh checkout and all this stuff. no i mean if they want to have it where it's like a, a cut scene where you walk through the airport then okay but it's like they should have it where it's just you know and I, if they want to just have it where it's like the same airport everywhere you go so like let's say for an example they're like oh you gotta go to uh seattle and now you gotta go to uh california and things but then it's like let's say there's a mission where it's like oh they switched your flight around so now you gotta drive at like high speeds through traffic and all that stuff to make it to the stadium on time because i who was it that went through that it was some wrestler that had to do that they went to the wrong area and they were just speeding down the road and i think they had to like change at the gas station can't remember who that wrestler was but that was an actual story but i'm like they should do some stuff like that or have it where it's like there's a wrestler that sees you at the airport and then you guys get to fighting at the airport you know or it's like they might see you at the mall and it's like you get to fighting at the mall but they should have like multiple areas that you can go to then you go to the stadium and then it's like when you're pulling into the uh um to the uh parking lot or inside the uh like inside the garage area of the stadium then they have it where you get ambushed by some wrestlers and then it's just but it should be an open world experience game like they should have a lot of different things i imagine with wwe if not um having it where there's uh licensed cars in the game then have it where i'm saying there's the one video game uh automation where you can hire somebody to make the cars for you and then uh yeah just add it into the game where it's not like uh you know licensed cars and stuff it's a it's a knockoff mustang or uh escalade or something things but no i'm just sitting down thinking i've been thinking about this for a few days i'm like fam an open world wrestling game set in so- <clears throat> excuse me in so many different environments fam because you can have like a city open world wrestling game you can have a countryside open world wrestling game you can have a post-apocalypse like think of something like mad max but it's just non-stop wrestling i'm telling you right now or even if they have it on some stuff where it's like oh you gotta go 
uh, throughout Death Valley and search for the Undertaker and stuff. And it's like, oh, and then you have to, then they might have some challenge where it's like, you're going to have to find shade because it's a hundred and something degrees out there and you're a wrestler might pass out, you know, or, uh, you have to go to, um, parts unknown and find Kane or something. I don't know. Or they like, what, was there ever a wrestler from the Bermuda Triangle? I felt like that there was at a point in time where I was watching wrestling and they said from the Bermuda Triangle, but regardless, they should just have like different things like that or even if you got like go to uh Samoa and uh fight like the Usos or you know fight Roman Reigns or just like some Samoan uh legends or something that I'm trying to think of some other things you know but I'm saying there's just so many different environments that they can add into a open world wrestling game I just think that that would hit but it's like and then they should have it where it's like when you go so like yeah let's say for an example it's like a yeah it's kind of like an RPG wrestling game so it's like yeah you're just traveling around either by foot or by car regardless but they have it where you're just traveling around and then you go to uh like areas and then you fight like smaller like wrestlers and things and then uh then there's like the big boss but it's like not like no overly dramatic like nah fam they just have it where it's like you know it's a normal looking roman reigns not like some big old giant seven foot tall roman or like not seven but like a 700 foot tall roman reigns but no i'm just saying like it's like a normal size roman reigns and it's normal uh styled wrestling but uh and then they have it where it's like once when you defeat him then you learn like wrestling wrestling moves whether it's the um like a it could be a list of wrestling moves or it can be um just one wrestling move whether it's the superman punch or spear or uh like the Samoan um Samoan drop just numerous things but it's like I'm saying though I just know that that would hit and then it's like let's say and then yeah then it's like they have it where you go to Death Valley you fight off a bunch of different like guys that look like Undertaker but they're not Undertaker and things and um or like a bunch of different like ghostly spirits or something like that but um i'm saying either that or oh and then imagine if they had it where it was like it was at night and then there's like lightning maybe add some rain and then it's like all the set you just see like this tombstone appear and then it's undertaker and then you gotta get into this like crazy wrestling match with him and stuff but yeah it's like they should have some stuff like that make it look realistic though i not something because what was that one wrestling game they came out with like wwe battlegrounds or something like that no do not do that make it where it looks just like the um wwe 2k wrestlers but just um in a like you know just yeah in a open world like rpg style game but i'm telling you something like that i'm trying to think of some other things that they can have you uh doing that game but or it can you know even if it's not that like a rpg wrestling game yeah it's just a lifestyle wrestling game where it's like it's like the sims but it's mixed in with wrestling so it's like yeah you get your own house um you can either roommate with other wrestlers or uh i guess have a family i, I don't i don't know i mean if they want to add family like stuff in there and things but um anyways I mean, that that actually would kind of work, too, and stuff, where it's like they have it where you recreate, like, moments in wrestling and things where it's like, yeah, let's say it's that moment with uh, um, Triple H where instead of him showing up to Randy Orton's house, he's showing up to your house and things. So it's like all these key moments in wrestling, but it's replaced with your character, or you could play as one of the wrestlers of your choosing, and then, yeah, it's like it's just, like, iconic moments in wrestling, but just put together in one story. But it's like a open world, and it's like some Sims, like, a uh, wrestling game man i'm sitting down thinking and i'm like that would hit or it, it can and i was like i know i did mention that where it doesn't need to exactly be like street fighter but it can be in that fashion though street fighter where but not like no side view like no i'm saying like a 3d or like a yeah like a 3d wrestling game where it ain't like the, yeah like how street fighter and mortal kombat like how they do fighting games no but it's like you circle around and all that other stuff but um yeah, they should have it where it's like, you know, yeah, you just challenge um, random people to wrestling matches and things. They could do that. But I don't know. I feel like that the people behind Street Fighter, they might sue WWE for copyright infringement. Like, you stole our, our idea and stuff. So, maybe not that. That might not work in things. But, um, I, I don't know. I feel like that they probably would try to, like, oh, we could do, like, a DLC collaboration with Street Fighter. No, 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 no. I don't want no collaboration. I want you guys to come out with your own individual game. All right? But in some like open world fashion i'm saying you know there's i'm pretty sure there's a lot of developers out there that have worked on open world games and i'm like man i'm just telling you that an open world wwe game would slap 
All right. I'm saying like there is and there's just so many uh different like possibilities that you guys can have with a game like that where it's uh like, you know, it's just you got to go up. Again. Oh, and then they should have it. Bam. That now I'm telling you the, um, it's like the ideas that I come up with. I'm like, man, I'm telling you, if I knew anything about video game development, forget doing podcast episodes, putting out these ideas. I would just be out here developing these games. I'm telling you right now, that bet that's going to probably be the worst thing for the gaming industry if I get into video game development because some of the stuff that I be thinking of, I'm like, man, I'm telling you, give me a journal. Just give me a journal for like each video game I want to work on. I'm telling you right now, I, I don't even know why I would need a journal. I mean, I could just use it. I don't know why I'm trying to be all old-fashioned with it. I could just use a computer and stuff. But regardless, no, I was just sitting down thinking. So, like, imagine an open-world wrestling game, right? And then at some point in time, they have it where um, there's, like, a herd of uh, wrestlers, you know, like uh, amateur wrestlers or something like that. And uh, you're just fighting them off like one, like some like Batman, uh, like how they have like their fight mechanics in there, but it's like a bunch of different wrestling moves. So it's like you clothesline one guy, and then you give a guy another elbow, then you punch one guy in the face, and then you spine buster another guy. But it's like they just, but it's kind of like in that fashion of like how Batman is, bruh. I'm telling you right now, a game like that. I, man, I'm telling you, I, I just know that that would be such a dope game and things. I'm like, man, I, and it's like you going around helping out uh, different wrestlers. Like, let's say you got to go to a place and then it's like, oh, it's like real Ripley uh, needs your help or something like that. And then you go over there and then it's like a horde of uh, like wrestlers um, where it's like, I guess, yeah, if they want to have it where it's like, it, if, it, if they want to have it where it'd be like some male wrestlers or some female wrestlers regardless, but they should have it where, but I mean, because here's the thing, because I just know that people would be like, well, that would be messed up or something if they had it where you're like fighting off, you're a man fighting off female wrestlers or something. I'm like, fam, it's a video game. It ain't like you actually doing it. And I think they should have like something where it's all like, okay, this is a video game. Don't try this stuff at home. We don't condone violence towards nobody. This is just a purely fictional video game. But yeah, let's just have it where there's like one big giant brawl or something. Rhea Ripley might be getting into it with Liv Morgan, but she's saying Liv Morgan sends her uh, goons after you. So then it's just like this big old giant brawl or something. And then, uh, yeah, then it's like maybe they might have it where you want to control Rhea Ripley or if you're a female wrestler, then you get to like help out Rhea Ripley fight Liv Morgan or something like that. But maybe she's like, Liv Morgan is like overpowered or something. I don't know. But like, yeah, she had like some, I don't know, Know, like they kind of like how they did in uh um uh, whatchamacallit um space jam where uh bugs bunny and them guys drank some water or something yeah maybe i don't know that i'm i'm over here because it's like now nah, i feel like that would be silly now nah, they should just have it where it's just like some simplified realistic wrestling but just in the open world environment because yeah i think that i just know that that would be pretty dope and things but yeah have it where it's like you know um even in a fashion like grant that father or something where it's like you know they, they you don't really have to do the mission you could just go around and just uh explore and stuff but it has to be a big giant open world game it can't be like no small because i have to say that was a downfall with street fighter the last one that they came out with where it's like the uh the open world like it wasn't really all that open i'm like fam how you guys gonna make an open world game but it's like i'm over here thinking something along the lines like grant that follow like you're gonna be finding easter eggs or like red dead redemption i'm saying open world like that and i just know I just know that WWE, it's like, that's something where I'm like, look, I know for a fact that you guys will be able, you could, like, you can make that video game. And I know for a fact that that video game would hit where it's like, yeah, you got to find, like, Easter eggs where it might be paying respects. Um, or it's, yeah, or like, yeah, like just random things, uh, where it's like just paying respects to like, you know, wrestlers and stuff that's past, like something by, like somebody like, uh, Dusty Rhodes, where it's all like, oh, you gotta find like a pair of, uh, Dusty Rhodes boots or something like that. And then, uh, yeah, you might unlock, like, yeah, unlock some Dusty Rhodes boots, t-shirt, whole outfit. I don't know, but yeah, it's like something like that. Um, you know, or you gotta find like, 
fam and then that's see and that's how i know that you guys can do like cards too because i mean it could be a wide variety of cards but let's just say where they're all like okay you gotta go to this uh um custom shop and uh or yeah like a car like shop or yeah but it could be like a custom shop or something like that but you gotta get one of uh eddie guerrero's lowriders but the mechanic let's say the mechanic is a wrestler i'm trying to think of who that wrestler could be or something but um all right so yeah let's just say it's somebody that was close with eddie guerrero um ray mysterio where it's like let's say he's um working on the car but like yeah and it's like wrestlers that just have like normal jobs outside of like wwe but yeah and that could be the story where it's like wwe shuts down all these wrestlers then found different jobs ray mysterio he's a mechanic and then uh they have it where it's like oh you um you gotta get like uh you're trying to build up like this big old giant wrestling collection fam i just came up with the story right now all right but anyway follow me with this story but yeah let's say that's like the um one of the missions where it could be the first mission regardless but it's like yeah you go to this uh mechanic shop you um come across ray mysterio and you're all like oh ray i'm such a big fan you know um I, oh that's a nice low writer is that eddie guerrero's and it's like yeah you know eddie gave it to me so uh, like a good you know prized possession of mine's never gonna get rid of it then your character's all like i wrestle you for it and ray mysterio's all like you know what it's been a while since I wrestled. It'd be, you know, good to just, you know, slap on the boots one last time. Yeah, sure. You know, let's let's wrestle for Eddie Guerrero's um low rider. You win the um uh the match and then uh, and it all doesn't have to be like a wrestling ring like just everywhere like you show up. No, it could just be like on just straight ground or something like that. But uh yeah, you know, you out wrestle Rey Mysterio and then he's all like, "Man, you know, you're a good wrestler. You know, you could have been something um somebody when WWE was open and things, you know." But, and then, yeah, they have it where it's all like, you know, you take the low rider, you're driving around and stuff. Um, or if you just want to drive around in some old random car, you very well can do that. But uh, have it where it's like, you know, there's a place of yours that you want to live at. And then uh, wrestlers, they come over and they're all like, oh, yeah, you know, let's go to the uh, garage or go to the basement and go somewhere in the backyard. And, uh, yeah, have ourselves a good old fashioned wrestling match and things, you know, that can uh, very well be the thing. And then, um, yeah, then you just traveling around the uh, map again, a big giant map, not no small little map, a big giant map. I'm saying there's Easter eggs there's buildings there's a countryside there's a city there's a desert there's the mountains there's everywhere i'm saying i'm like yeah and they can have fam and, it, and it's like just to have like every wrestler involved it's like yeah they have it where it's like uh you go up to the mountains and what's those one viking wrestlers that um they're like currently in the um business like one is married because i remember when Liv morgan was in a uh she was like in a like a faction and it was with that one girl she goes by ruby soho now but it was like ruby right i think it was like sarah sarah logan or so the riot squad right it's got um yeah sarah logan and who's the guy that she's married eric and then all right so yeah with the the war wait is that their name the War Raiders. I feel like it. Yeah, is it the War War Machine? I guess it is the War. I don't. The Viking Raiders. Have they changed their name? Hold on. Return. There's like reverting back to their war. Oh, so it's like it was their original name. Okay, so but yeah, have it where it's like you know you go up to the uh, mountains and then uh, you know just to guess get some like Viking gear. Then uh, but yeah, you gotta go up against uh, um, the uh, War Raiders and stuff. And so they have it where it's all like, um, you go and they're all like, hey, you find another tag team partner and things. And then there's just, yeah, all these different wrestling contacts that you have. You call up somebody and then, uh, yeah, they just have it where it's like you wrestle them and then you get something from them. Uh, maybe go to the jungle and then, uh, you get RKO out of nowhere, R of Randy Orton and stuff. He's, he's, I don't know, trying to be one with nature. I, I haven't fully sat down and thought the whole story, um, throughout, but I'm just saying WWE, if you guys need a new video game idea, that video game would slap. I guarantee and I promise you that. All right. So anyways, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. Like, subscribe, viewing this on YouTube. Follow, subscribe, viewing this on the podcast streaming service. Thank you guys and peace.